being diagnosed with an asbestos-related disease such as mesothelioma, lung cancer or asbestosis is overwhelming news. Unfortunately, every year thousands of people suffer from diseases related to direct, household or bystander asbestos exposure. Attorneys with Motley Rice have been deeply involved in asbestos litigation for decades, with late firm co-founder Ron Motley being recognized for his groundbreaking work in the 1970s when he uncovered and revealed the internal company documents showing some companies' concealment of the knowledge that asbestos was harmful. For this and other trailblazing efforts in asbestos litigation, American lawyer dubbed Motley the man who took on Manville. Latest news asbestos judgment Final Second Circuit confirms asbestos judgment against travelers on January 5, 2015, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit by denying a request for rehearing and a rehearing on bank, confirmed that the settlement agreements travelers agreed to in 2004 were binding and enforceable contracts between the parties, that all conditions had been satisfied, and that, in an attempt to avoid its obligation to thousands of asbestos victims, whatever travelers' private hopes and dreams were, they were not supported by the language of the agreement. Read more Our attorneys are compassionate about the incredibly difficult situation of asbestos victims and are deeply committed to holding accountable those companies responsible for allowing this potentially deadly exposure, helping victims receive fair compensation. Additionally, we strive to give our clients a voice at a time in their lives when they feel the most vulnerable and seek improvements in workplace safety to prevent future asbestos-related diseases from occurring. What is asbestos? Asbestos is a naturally occurring mineral fiber that was once valued for its resistance to heat, electrical and chemical damage, and was used by dozens of trades. With millions of microscopic fibers, asbestos can easily break apart and become airborne and possibly inhaled. Should asbestos fibers be inhaled, they may become lodged in your lungs, potentially leading to lung cancer, mesothelioma or other asbestos-related diseases. Additionally, because asbestos fibers travel so easily through the air, not only the person working with asbestos-containing products but also bystanders run the risk of inhaling these fibers and developing an asbestos-related disease even decades after exposure. From the early 1900s through the 1980s, asbestos was used in thousands of different industrial products, including pipe and furnace insulation materials, roofing shingles, floor tiles, millboard, textured paints and other coating materials. In 1989, the United States banned asbestos in specific products. This ban, however, did not ban the use of asbestos altogether. Additionally, other countries continue to mine asbestos. As a result, asbestos can still be found in a number of consumer products, including building materials, friction products and heat-resistant fabrics. Mesothelioma and asbestos-related diseases Asbestos exposure is strongly associated with several potentially fatal illnesses, the most serious of which is malignant mesothelioma. This aggressive cancer affects the lining of the lungs, heart, abdomen and other organs, and, as with all asbestos-related diseases, it often doesn't manifest for years or even decades after the initial exposure. Because mesothelioma, asbestos lung cancer and other related diseases can almost always be attributed to asbestos exposure, you should tell your doctor about any past exposure, including your work or family history. Learn more about our cases involving mesothelioma and asbestos-related diseases. Motley Rice is prepared to help asbestos victims and their families obtain the compensation they deserve from companies responsible for their exposure. With approximately 70 attorneys, hundreds of support personnel and co-counsel across the country, our attorneys have represented asbestos victims throughout the United States. If you would like to explore your legal rights regarding a potential asbestos exposure lawsuit, please contact our asbestos team by email or call 1-800-768. 
4026.Asbestos exposure companies and manufacturers dealing with asbestos have known for almost a century that the inhalation of asbestos fibers is associated with mesothelioma, lung cancer, asbestosis and several other debilitating and often fatal asbestos-related diseases. Thousands of unsuspecting workers were exposed daily to this dangerous carcinogen as they worked in factories, 